Can you do a quick look into Lithium Chile? I know it is a pink, but a possible rare gem. Tesla uses a lot of lithium and it's reasonably rare. From the American Realist and Common Sense Society. <laughs> love that. I love these names. They're so cool. And clever for every not to use the real name in the questions is one that come in. So Lithium Chile. So I tend not to trust Latin American publicly traded companies because there is corruption. There is some cooking the books and there's people taking the piece and there's brown envelopes and everything else. Not say anything bad about Latin American companies, but th this one, um, I know it's listed in Canada, but it has a lot of weird stuff. Earnings have declined 16.9% over the last five years. Uh, they make a tiny revenue. They've got very poor processes and extremely high volatility. All the red flags that I need to see to say, uh, uh wouldn't touch it. Also, look at Tele Brazil, biggest telco company in Brazil. Over the last 22 years, the stock is down 99%. That's because people are corrupt. I don't know about the Chilean market, but I know it's on the neighbor uh, neighborhood of Brazil. Who knows if their accounting methods and the insiders lining their own pockets, just like many 98% of all tokens in the crypto world as well. So now the real concern here is Elon Musk is securing his own lithium stash. It is a very abundant uh, product on earth. It's everywhere. The only problem is you need to dig it up and you need to process it. So uh, this is an old release from 2020, but Musk told shareholders that they have secured rights to 10,000 acres in Nevada where they were produced. And Nevada is one of the top areas for lithium mining on earth from what I know and from clay deposits using a process developed by Tesla. If successful, Tesla will be the first company in the world to commercially produce lithium from clay. Do you think they can do it? <laughs> well, if you looked at their SpaceX launch yesterday or today, yesterday, I think it was, then you know, uh, yeah, they can do pretty much anything. So I wouldn't touch it. The financials are horrible. Um, Elon's going to figure out his own supply. I get where you're coming from, but always, always get the pure form first. Go straight for the source. Buy Tesla. Forget all the vendors and providers, etc. Just too risky.